All right, let's see how things are going. All right, is everything recording? All right, that should be good. All right. Just gonna spend a little bit. Uh, posting them live. Mute that. Uh, yeah. Huh. Alright. So, last time. Um. A lot happened. A lot happened. But specifically, we found out some more. Actually, check the rumor mill. <laughs> a lot happened. Um, yeah. Equator, yeah. to go check this out later more in depth because I feel oh <laughs> hello hello oh there but yeah we found out a lot about Giant's Deep and the the wet dry dock <laughs> which was uh, my favorite thing well I guess one of my favorite things just a lot of fun things happened last time in uh, terms of science Discovery, whatnot. Oh yeah, there's still more to find here. Um, but the quest to discover everything related to Ashwin before hitting up its uh, core. Uh, what happened? Did I fell on the sky? I thought it was velocity matched. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is why I don't... Let me... 
me. Yes. Orient myself. Velocity doesn't mean negative gravity. I was like, I, I could be in orbit around it, is what I'm saying. Velocity. But yeah, and I, I, I was hoping I could be in orbit around the damn thing. Oh, hello, Quantum Moon. God, I love how huge Giant Deep, giant deep is, because it's just like, oh, I'm still. Uh, you know, oh, so many kilometers away from it, but I'm still being in. All right. Um. Oh, hey, here's the warp station. Let's uh park. Let's go into park mode. Constant acceleration around the planet now. Hmm. No, I, I believe you're you're all right. That. Well, constant acceleration. Well, I mean, I think. I guess it's just that uh, because of the gravity of Timber Hearth, like I have no real, like it's hard to. A oh, I forgot gravity's time. Uh, there's two G's here. I mean, fair. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so if I want to get on the top of here, okay, I probably had to. Oh god, I love the sights here. <laughs> where's Where's Gapro? Show me, Gapro. Look, I can do it. I need to see my lanky alien <laughs> stoner friend. Ah, I've never met Gapro before, so I can't wait to hear that. Oh, statue workshop. And the door is busted. And here's another one of those statues. If another one with its eyes open, we've have. None of the other statues I've seen had their eyes open. What? So this should be exciting. You just got one of the hard to find ship logs. Nice. Hey! Thanks, Reese. Um, that's Esker. Very much not the homie of trying to find. Weird. Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, these are the, uh, oh shit, you're about to be launched into space, uh, shelters. Yeah, I'm going to the, the warp. It's just that it's a, uh, to get to the actual warp, I had to get up here. And hello. Okay, that's it, I should... I should... Alright. I want to check down there. Uh, this looks like a nice co apartment complex. Now what? In its heyday, I bet it would have been pretty nice. No, and that's... I guess that's the kind of interesting thing about the Nomai, honestly. Is that, you know, while the Harthians are all, like, uh, kind of... Like, a lot of their work is kind of, you know, uh, kind of like westerny, like blue-collar kind of stuff. 
everything from the Nomai is kind of like Hellenistic and like, you know, big stone buildings and statues while everything by the uh, Harthians are all like wooded structures. This looks like a big, broad, innovator no Maya would roam here. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, I should head towards cover. This is what this is, right? This has to be what that's for. this. Alright, and my legs are not broken. Okay. Looks oh yes, I should actually read this. Ah, let me. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Philox says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But... But if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way, does anyone want to? I keep forgetting which way is the main conversation. This is... I get Phylex specifically told us not to do that. <laughs> Maybe. I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Phylex will let us see a later test. Huh. So we now know what those statues are called. So that's neat. <laughs> yeah, the conversations do tend to be nonlinear. It's so weird not being able to just jetpack around everywhere. I mean. <laughs> I'm used to doing it on every other planet that has, like... Well, I'm mostly used to exploring, like, Ember and Ash Twin that barely have, you know, a G's worth of gravity. And also, that's sick as hell. But we're now at the warp station. And of course... Oh, hey, there's some writing over here. Yeah. Okay. Let's just walk to it. Alright, Phylox. Welcome to Giant Steep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. Huh. If I'm not if I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Okay, fine. I was hoping for more, but I mean like that tells me what's beneath the island. Like But I mean like I've got to go below the island. <laughs> oh, let's get back to the other part before uh, launching the space could happen. So, how do we get in the locked door? I'm working on that. Oh, well, part of me wonders if. So, where is... Elbow. Two. Is he on the other side of the planet? Okay, I know Gabbro's here, and Gabbro's the one with the elbow. But... <laughs> Astro projects through the locked door. Oh, wait. Is that the other side of the door? Wait, I have an incredibly dumb idea about how to get in there. But it's 
both incredibly dumb, and it sounds like it'd be one hell of a time it wasn't. <laughs> and thanks. All right. Uh, my other idea was to potentially wait for this to get launched up. gets launched up into space and then go from underneath. <laughs> Try to do some sick flying. That coat. I don't know if that's the uh, intended method of doing incredible. <laughs> or potentially, I'm wondering if there is a path. Hello. What's that? Forward facing camera. No idea what that's trying to point out. Alright. Well, I hope you finish that Gabbro art when you uh, can get to it. Hmm. How do I get back? I guess I'd have to fall. Ooh, this sounds like... Um. I can do- I can try something incredibly dumb right now. Did I fall? Uh, I- Well? Oh, that was incredibly bad. Well? Um... I think I fell through there. I think I went fast enough. To just fall through there? I think that's what happened. Uh. Yeah, I phased through the island. I don't think that's the, uh, intended solution. But it worked. And I'm not dead. So, I'm having a certain very much felt like I did something. Okay. Is there another way for you to get <laughs> in here without uh, phasing through a wall? Or not a wall, but... So they're all carved here, I guess. Hmm. Memory here. No, my other faces didn't have fur, so they were kind of like goats. No, yeah, goats don't have fur in the faces. Memory to here, to here, to obelisk, then back here. You astral projected, like I suggested. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and yeah, this is what I, I kind of had a thought about this. Hmm. 
Vilox. Jarl, would you uh, would you kindly step back so so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is the closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. What? Huh. Huh. Ha ha ha. No matter no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phylox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that and now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each, stat each statue will send a, sig a single gnomized memory to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask. The statue's counterpart part, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding gnomi. Oh, wait. Ask the statue's counterpart to be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding gnome. Despite everything, you've succeeded. <laughs> and yeah, the diagram reminds me of Rock Paper Scissors. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of that. I mean, like, on Earth, everything, every, almost every culture has a version of Rock Paper Scissors. I think Rock Paper Scissors is just, like, universal. And also, I think I was supposed to fly from underneath or something. Hmm. Ruby's not just got uh, themselves in my mask, as well as a statue. Ash wind projection, so. That should be... oh, Rami. Hmm. I've installed the mask inside the Ash Twin Project, Phalax. They look beautiful, although I do feel as if I'm... I do, <laughs> although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statue will not pair until the project's... Ex oh. The, the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be uh, hard to endure. Phalanx. Ideally, they would only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Oh, uh, why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashwin project, the statues and their mask will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it'd be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of- oh, I haven't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Huh. Hmm. Oh, okay, and from the mask you can get back your memories. Okay. No, I play RSP 100. Recheck the Ashwin uh, project projection. Oh, yeah, definitely.
Hello. Am I being launched in space? Hmm. This is uncomfortable. Gotta make sure that I am, uh... Facing... Not facing. Make sure you don't break my legs. Legs successfully uh, not broken. <laughs> that said, three minutes of oxygen are remaining. God, the way the mass tilted when you launched. Yeah. Yeah, and then I do think my yeah you go under. Said, let's check this out once more. Yeah, I know. I remember noticing some of these don't have their mask lit. Yeah, there's one, two, three. I feel like at some point, some of these wouldn't have had their, uh, th some of their eyes lit. Or something. It's hard to tell. Greenland mask. Huh. Also, I should head back to my ship before I uh, suffocate to death. Also, I'm surprised I haven't found a. Uh, I'll call him Wiseface. <laughs> I've found a Gabbro. I thought it would be like here. Oh, right now, I probably still want to go this way around. Is uh, two times gravity. I guess I don't need to carry this with me, but. Also, while you thought about the timing and entering the silent was incorrect. Huh. There is, in fact, a timing. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, let me get up. Thank you. Hello. What on earth is that? Is that another... Seed? No way. Uh, uh, wrong button. Uh, I'm trying to remember my... That's another dark seed. You don't have to put on the breath. Oh my goodness. Mm, if I wasn't <laughs> recording this at like 8, I would be more tempted to sing out this. <laughs> the bitrate seems to be pretty steady on my end. Oh, 
will my first day as astronaut be? Huh. Well, first. We're gonna eat a marshmallow. There's another... Wait. Oh no! Wait, yes? Wait, I'm kind of confused on what I'm thinking of. Um, let's see it up. Check this out. Alright, well that's paused. Um, hmm. First I'm going to drink some water. Book Slate with Marshmallow Stick. Look, Slate has seen him a lot, including me getting crushed by the fucking lift uh, several times now. So, you know, they, they've been through a lot. I don't need to poke Slate with a, a stick. Well, then again, I'm not sure how that works with time loops, but... <sighs> Things have happened. I... was Okay, I think the timing would probably be better if... Island. Of just to wait until I'm in space and then lift off, or be in my spaceship, wait until it actually is in space and fly under there or something. Or, I don't know. Hmm. Still don't know what the intended solution is. Probably is another tiny puzzle, but yeah. But, uh, I, I don't, well, I, I warped through it. I mean, it's done? I guess. <laughs> oh, go, oh, I guess also going underwater. Yeah, true. True, that would make also some sense, especially since you don't like sink under the, like the wave, the water. You're actually buoyant. <laughs> uh, looks like just the one in there, observatory. Yeah. Now my statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ashwin Project. Each storage unit inside the Ashwin Project was equipped with a mask, this uh, statue's counterpart, which then send those stored memories back to a corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ashwin Project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. Oh, but there's one last thing the statue workshop you haven't found. Was there? Was it, uh, did I have to go through it the correct way to have found it? Huh. related to timing. Uh, mm. Now it should I try finding it later, and then now that I have this... Okay, and now I get what you mean by your little hint of, like, count the statues. Or, not the statues, the mask. There's three lit mask. Those correspond to th three people who had their memories recorded. That would be... Uh, us? Maybe Gabbro, since Gabbro was the one who was also exploring uh, Giant's Deep. And there's the one statue that had its eyes open. No idea who the other one would be, but I... I feel like... Well... I mean, we probably have all the time in the world. All right. I guess. Yeah, my bit rate decided. Oh, damn! Sorry to hear about that. So, uh, did anyone else have any internet issues? I'm hoping it's not the stream, but.
we wait for the tower to reveal. Oh yeah, the tower has to reveal itself anyway. So oh yeah, let's let's head there. There is a bit of crunch in the death animation. I'm the third statue pair. <laughs> I love Crunchy. Yeah. There is a bit of crunch at the death animation. Hmm. Oh, it could be Twitch itself, you know, so many people uh, streaming games. Okay. Ah, that... damn. Alright. Timing puzzle. The... what? Dry dock. Hey! Here's Gabbro. Let's... say hello. Oh. Enough to you. Photo mode. Yep. Shitty cave. Not shitty cave. I could be the third statue pair, <laughs> unless. Hey, you. <laughs> you know, after seeing Ryback and how like chunky there are, they are. It's weird seeing <laughs> another Harthian. It's really like, and also, there's huh, their helmet is a bit more kind of like 50 sci-fi kind of deal. Look at the Rybacks was like. Uh, Kind of like an old, uh, what's the term look for? Like a diving suit kind of helmet. Old Rybex is more kind of wonky <laughs> 50s, 40s sci fi. Let's see here. Ah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first level launch is a doozy, isn't it? So, uh, hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, uh, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. So how about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? No, it's me- oh, no, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. <laughs> You're taking this pretty well. <laughs> What did you think it was? No, you're taking this pretty well. <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that, uh, that time's gone all weird. I tried raiding, uh, radioing Hornfells and asked if they died too. But they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember it by the next one. They don't realize anything's different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all my memories from that loop uh, replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's late, related to this big uh, stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes. Just like what happens each time I die. Oh, uh, that happened to me with the statue at the museum. You too, huh? The Nomai statues must have uh, something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the, uh, the time loop. So, no Glung statue, no time loop awareness? Oh yeah, Chur is an astro astronomer. And they have a full view helmet. Yeah, they do. They have the big kind of... It's kind of like the top of an egg, the pointy bit of an egg. That's how their helmet looks like. But, um, yeah. I think they're going to be 
going to be my leading theory, but if we found out anything new about the statues or the time loop, uh, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's team with me, but, uh, hey, this is your first solo voyage. Kind of. <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about you, you know? A space dream, you. Oh boy, I've, I've found a lot of things. I have found so many things, my strange <laughs> chill friend. <laughs> Gabro be vibing. Gabro is vibing. And has a ten eye. Wonky has a ten eye for some reason. Um, I definitely found some nice, nice. What you got for me? I have reached inside the statue island. So the gnome I created those has statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I can see the gnome I doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like they're sort of saying. Uh, what do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Or do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember. Th that one on the beach looked, looked at me funny. That must be my memory friend. Uh, have you ever watched Cyclone for long enough? It started to hypnotize you. I'm telling you, they put you in the trance if you stare at them long enough. Nah, uh, but... Yeah, how's was... Uh, got anything new for me? I found out what happened to the orbital probe cannon. Look above what I said about Ryback. He's scared of space, so... Oh yeah, Ryback is scared of space, so as a pinhole view of their diving helmet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they do. Huh. Anyway. Poor little broke cannon. Whoa, that cannon's breaking apart at the start of each time loop? For real? Did he figure out why? <laughs> Too much power. Oh, for enthusiasm. It's kind of scary how much of that sounds like something Slater, Feldspar, would do. I'm pretty surprised to know I built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. Uh, orbital probe cannon. Oh yeah, the quantum poem. That Oh, I found that, like, ages ago back in the forest. Oh uh, yeah, the one in the woods. I remember writing that. Pretty fun, right? It works out uh, to a good 24 poems. When I'm done exploring, I want to make some quantum art. Maybe some kind of, like, creature sculpture that just, like, shows up and scares the daylight out of you. <laughs> oh god, I love Gabro. You're the best. What are you doing out here? <laughs> oh, what are any of us doing here? Really? No, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system. Same as you. But, tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. It's quiet, peaceful out there. Right here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Uh... What are you doing here? Exploring Giant's Deep, here's something you might like. At the start of each time loop, I keep seeing a big flash in the sky. At the start of every loop, something must be happening up in the orbit around the planet. What else? Uh, have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seen as the island where I found the glowing gnome my statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole uh, glowy business happened, by the way. It was a nice break from the kind of thing. Uh, I gave it a solid. 7 out of 10 on the Gabro relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's one of the two islands connected by a natural rock arc. Well, mostly connected. We'll see. What's up with this fucking planet? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you meant, like, tell me more about it? Oh, gotcha. Well, Giant Deep is massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current a ways beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below. Seriously, I've Everything I could think to get current, and neither idea worked. As for landmass, I counted four islands, including this one. There's also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. Have you seen the cyclones? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss everything in their path, island, their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in the water. Less likely to kill you. Where's your ship? Uh, Gabra went back in time and <laughs> made the quantum skeletons. 
probably. I don't have anything either. <laughs> um, Gabbro, where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. <laughs> That'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not lonely. Love you. Signal identified. It is Gabbro. And they just have, like... And they really are vibing with just, like, this whole planet in constant storms, and they're just like, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna chill. Chill my dope hammock. Get out, probably cans of marshmallows or whatever. Let's drink. Going too far in there would be a terrible idea. Uh, so play through the... <laughs> Pin drop drive the Gabbro ship. Oh! So, fun fact about this Ghost Matter tunnel. Yeah. Well, yeah, that weather vane of antenna ain't moving, so you don't have to worry about it. Also, I should get to my ship. Alright. What? When the island crash lands from left... Okay, it reveals that ghost matter doesn't affect you underwater. Doesn't apply during the underwater segment. No way. No way. Um. Gabro's lounging in the hammock near the island shore. Um. Yep. Remembers dying. Gabro is. Someone else. About no my lives could happen. Hmm. Apply during the underwater segment. Okay, you know what? You remember the inside to the or inside of Dark Bramble. Hmm. What? Really? Oh, well, I'm vibing here. I'll keep this going. Yeah, it's all foggy. Oh, are you saying the the water could have protect them from the uh, ghost matter? Oh yeah, the anglerfish existed before the interloper exploded. True. Huh. Oh yeah, ghost matter could pretty much just be like uh, radiation. Um. Some reason to explore Dark Ramble before the winter over went off. Some of them could have lived. You know what? You got a point there. Smoke. Is it fog water vapor or something? That's a good question. And 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep vibing here. True. I kinda wanna see if the what you said about ghost matter not being effect and water taking effect. snapping pictures and yeah oh yeah I think there's a moment there was a whole lot less and now it's returning in full force I didn't destroy myself. That's good. And let's try to find the... Alright. That's... Giant Steep. Brittle Hollow. I don't know. I haven't been to Quantum Moon yet, so I saw something about me not knowing something about pro uh, the uh, Orbital Pro Cannon, so I'm going to hold off on reading the chat for a bit. Oh wait, you can use the Quantum Moon to put yourself in orbit around Giant Steep too. Oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Because the uh, Quantum Moon does tend to chill around there. Let's see here. Where am I looking for? Oh yes, I know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just being silly. I say. Ah. Not so nice being back on a planet with like no fucking gravity. Oh yeah, there it was the uh, ghost matter. Okay, and now, I'm... come on. I'm having so much trouble finding some big towers. I think that matching velocity to the moon and then making it disappear. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, that would make sense of purposely making the moon disappear. And after matching uh, velocity with the quantum moon. Yeah. It's so great being on a place with. Uh, which one has the broken top? This one. Let's fucking go. Yeah, it's kind of even flowing. Yep. Drink some water. Oh, nice. And oh god, yeah, I'd love to be able to warp to places in real life. Just warp. 
Ah, there's Dark Bramble. Fuck Dark Bramble. <laughs> this is one to actually do fun time. Great. It'll be fantastic. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Also, mm. so how do you get in the war? Mm. Sand does pull. There's a way to turn on the lights. Wait, no, wrong one. Whoop, some lag happened. And a very squishy noise. This would probably end up with me being annihilated. Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, I mean, I'm kind of, you know... Also, am I not facing... Is my rotation changing? Is it because of the sand? Am I too late? <laughs> God. Yeah, no, I am. You know, I'm kind of. The sand's filling up too much. Well then. <sighs> you late. Cause yeah, no, my. Yeah. The... <sighs> okay. So, I have another puzzle. Is it close enough? And I know one way... I've accidentally sent my, uh, or I mean one way to warp there. Towards the end when there's very little sand. Okay, I'm trying to catch up with it that way, I should try to meet it. That'd be the smarter thing to do. One time I've accidentally sent my little scout to the, uh, to the core. And that was when there's like, at the end of, almost at the end of the cycle. Channel touchdown, very cowgirl. You know what? That's a good question. Did the gnome I did six suns? <laughs> it won't get lifted by the sand. You're right. If 
If only there was some projected sand flow. Fuck. Come on. Okay. I mean, I think I get what you're throwing down. Okay, yeah, I was thinking it too, but uh, I probably only have... Well, then again, I can just get back to the uh, planet. It's very easy to get up there. But yeah. I don't have, like, a, a winch or anything. So I guess the only thing I can put to protect against the sand... F Come on. Get in there. Is uh if we can't make it this loop we can the next time. You know? I don't think this would work, but I mean no, it would watch me out. That's kind of big enough. Hey, Scout. That'd be amazing if it works. Yeah? <sighs> the whole... Yeah, the broken path up there seems to be the perfect, you know, shape for the uh, ship's landing pads, too. Yeah. I mean, I hope it works. I, I didn't think about that before trying it, but now that I'm looking at it, I mean, I don't know how else to protect myself from the sand flow, really. It's not like this is left in Zelda. I can't get the uh, heavy boots. Fuck. Hell. Yes. Let me just patch my suit. And where? Where? This is it. Twenty minutes, twenty or twenty-five seconds ago. Received data from previous cycles. Mask receiving data from probe tracking. Oh, mask receiving data from probe tracking module, Giant's Deep memory statue, Timber Hearth memory statue. To the final of one of the greatest mysteries, the big center of the orange segment on your rover map. Yeah. The probe tracking module has a mask. Two minutes it didn't end until end of cycle transmission. Yeah, that's what I thought. This, the reason why I get warped is because even if I can escape the supernova, is that at the end of the 22 minutes it sends back my memories. Huh, no third hearth yet. I mean, part of me was hoping it'd be Feldspar. Yeah, these are the masks. Oh, not good. Okay, time's not freezing here, so I'd have to come back to read everything. Yarl, today we finished the excavation of the Ash Twin here. Er, Ash Twin. Here, in this space we carved. We will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project, powerful enough to send information back in time. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still, I can still hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Alas, we've also finished relo uh, relocating all subterranean uh, subterranean plants we met while uh, we met while uh, digging. 
We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we'd alter the environment here. God, that's amazing. Yeah, that, that's where the power from the solar stations meet up. That happens at the end of everything. I didn't get time to uh, zoom in. But yeah. Information back into the past. Huh. It asks if it succeeds and if it fails. So that if it fails, we can stop it from failing. And that's the effect that happens when the information sends back into time before your body dies. Holy shit. Okay, and also putting the ship on top of the thing didn't help. <laughs> You're lucky I'm in the time loop. Oh, I'd be super dead. And <laughs> I don't, and you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, Slate, you lucky. Out of a gun. The inside of Statues Island's last content. Before we, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, also it's 69 minutes into the <laughs> into the stream. Let me just uh, drink some more water. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. So now we know the biggest, one of the biggest secrets. It took quite a bit of like, had like work, but you know, finally made it. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, a hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant Steep, and Timber Hearth, respectively. There is more to explore here. Yeah, there is. So wait. Uh, Satchel, the ship can fit in there. Really? 
Hmm. Can this ship... I mean... Doesn't really... Oh. Wow. That's funny. Also, I seem to damage the uh, part of the ship. That said, though, this thing would be in, uh, some big trouble if, uh, the, sh yeah, the island takes off, probably, 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 but, yeah. Also, I wasn't expecting to see Beneath the Island. That was kind of scary <laughs> to me. I don't know why, but ever since I was a kid, like... Uh, sea life used to be, like, really scary to me. Now we know what this is, but... So yeah, we spoop by the roots. Oh! A bit more of spoop of potentially seeing giant fish that aren't in space. Oh yeah, there's that up there. No, did I check that out? No, I didn't check that out. Yeah, the dark bramble is my nemesis, and I hate it. <laughs> so, now I know. fix that. Oh. That's the reactor. When it says port hole, I thought it just meant like I could like fix that. I wasn't expecting it to uh, blow up on me. <laughs> ah, you learn new things about this game every day. It feels <laughs> like. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and also, um, now I wouldn't mind a hint. You said there's something about timing. It's the fucking furnace next to the gravity crystal. Oh, this thing. Uh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, it said uh, there's something about the, uh, what do I call it? Okay, when the island's in the air is the timing. Oh, okay, I think I get what you mean now. Potentially. Because I can't, like, even if I get my ship into the, uh, underneath the island like that, I absolutely cannot, like, uh, what's it? Yes, I absolutely cannot get to, like, the top part with the, the text there and whatnot. Also, I can't wait until I, uh, find a way to, uh, get stuck in there. That'll be fun. The... my try dock The 
Though I have... What? Okay, I don't know that much about physics. To be real. But... Where is it? God, that... The weird nonsense I had to do. Look. Look. I'll get to it next time it lifts off. Whoa, and I didn't even have my suit on. Good thing I didn't uh, rush to get out there. Or else I would have been a uh, goner. Yeah, that was ironic that as I was approaching it, as I was trying to land on the damn thing, it, uh, decided differently. It had different plans. But yeah, I'll wait until the island is... and okay, yeah. Here's the proper way, because yeah, to get up there, I probably need either the water to rush up or pan slash or just wait for the uh, gravity to do its thing. Or I guess the cyclone to do its thing to launch me <laughs> uh, into the uh, low orbit, not even low orbit, but almost low orbit. But yeah, we've done quite a bit of science here. And discovery. And hopefully we can do this before uh, heading up the ATP. Just have to wait. But yeah, this is great. So you normally can't get there normally. Puzzles, yeah, puzzles are fun. <laughs> Let's see here. Well, I guess I'll chill in here. Actually, I'm. I like living on the edge, so I'll just wait until I'm here and then, uh... Oh, and there's also a storm thing up there. That works. But, yeah, gosh. This has been... <laughs> oh, just me standing next to the, uh, reactor, like, the ship. I, I thought it just said port da or like, hole damage. I didn't think... It meant the reactor, or it might have said the reactor, but I think the first thing it said was port, and it's like, oh, port, whole damage, get out and uh, repair the ship, and I'm like, okay. And I forgot what port was on the ship. Port's left, right? Yeah, or the left side of the ship, correct? Because, yeah, I think uh, the bow is the front, starboard is right, port is left. Uh back. What's back? Let me take things one line at a time. Uh, yes I do. Is back rudder? Oh, I think the rudder's not there. I forgot. Okay. I'm trying to do this without looking out for some reason. Oh, because I'm streaming. Aft. Ah, it is the aft. The aft is the back of the ship. Aft, then bow, then port, and starboard. Starboard. Yeah. Starboard. <laughs> starboard. Now, um, God, could you imagine if there was a starboard in this game? That'd be 
sick as hell. Also, <laughs> it feels like, you know, I, I appreciate that the cyclones don't lift you up all the damn time, but it's like, come on, I, I actually want to be lifted up here. Please. Please. Please do the thing I want you to do. There are some trees somewhere. Oh yeah. Interesting to see that uh, while being lifted up, the gravity gets up to like 5.7 or something ridiculous. Uh. Alright, let's get to here. Phylox. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me? back in time. Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different from receiving memories from what is, it is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in, uh, in either case? Huh. I'm surprised this doesn't give a ship log or anything. Oh, I think the gravity gets as strong as uh, 12, 13. Ooh, descending. Wow, no wonder Ruby it like that. Uh, yeah, it's just a bit of philosophy. Which, you know what? I honestly appreciate of just them being like, okay. Effect. Yeah. I mean, no, I, I, I love weird philosophy about time travel and whatnot, so I, I dig this. Now. I forgot gravity's a uh, stupid. Oh yeah, wait, no. I know we're back on. Thing. Get out of here. Let me bonk myself. Let me forget that I'm in increased gravity, therefore, every time I hit the ground, like, with, like, about five feet up from the air, uh, it, it hurt bad. Obviously, I'm still wondering about the Dark Seed. Is the interloper going to intercept me? No. Okay. And yeah, I think... Okay, I'm not gonna crash into Ember Twin. I see here that's Brittle Hollow. That's 
me getting sucked up into space. That's what I'm looking for. I don't think putting my ship there is the key, unfortunately. But. I think what I should do, or the smarter thing, <laughs> oh yeah, I believe, I believe <laughs> of the hourglass twins being the source of so many problems, especially just crashing into the other one. But yeah, I think the ship didn't really help. I think what I want to do is wait for it to start uh, the sand, the sandfall, or sand rising, however you're looking at it, to wane out before just trying to run and dash into the warp. It's the best source of shelter here. Here? Okay, that's valid, but also... <laughs> this room had, has had many redesigns, has it? No, I, I, I believe it. Oh, just like, hey, doofus, you're supposed to... second part of text that I didn't get to read earlier. Hmm. Jarl. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Seep, where Kasava is working with Avon to craft the Orbital Pro Cannon, and where Phalox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis. It was not only by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. Oh. Jarl Kasava. Not by accident, the core of Alright. Hypothesis. The cores could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. <laughs> the important point is that we're all connected through the Ash through Ash Twin now, and also that I'm no longer needed for medit <laughs> meditating your disagreements. Gorgeous. Um, Jarl, our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital probe cannon. Uh, the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells tells me the cannon is doing well, and that Avens Evans uh, uh, advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone has a good device, uh, if anyone can go to device into exploding. That too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. <laughs> Would it help to remind Avens that Malo, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is, or is Malo part of the problem? <gasps> Wait. Will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? There's someone in the cannon? 
Carl. Phylox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or when the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, and the music of the game is going to be pretty loud. So I can't, can't wait for it to wait a bit. It's good music, but I don't want to... Out of it. There might be some bones. Oh yeah, there might be some bones. But, I mean, there's information being recalled from the cannon. Or, not from the cannon, from the probe. That's the important thing. There's information being re uh, received from a statue in the probe itself. Yes, when the uh, ADP succeeds or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Um, Pi and Idea have worked hard on the sun station and is at last complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin Project requires. Goodness. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. Oh boy. Big if. Big oof. Jarl, we're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin Project. Here is what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ashwin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time. Send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the, the supernova to send data from this from this cannon launch back in. Wait, wait, wait. First, the sun gets the order. The Ashman project back in time. After the orders are received. The sensation will again trigger the supernova. Send the probe data back from this cannon. Okay, from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashman project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. Huh. Supernova. Explode. Fire back in time, 20 minutes. Orders are received. Sunset can trigger the supernova. Bro, the cannon launch. Okay, I kinda get it. Yeah. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We are only unable to power it. Perhaps. There's another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station. To generate the power of the power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. Oh, Pi. Rami, or am I? I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. Idea, this is easier expressed than it accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, idea. But you'll still need to find some way to halt our aging process. How's your dreams? <laughs> uh, no, let me stop. Uh, read the chat a bit. Remember when they talked about the horror of being in the loop without knowing why? Statue Island. Oh god, yeah. 
How's your dreams been lately, Crunch? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored something new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Oh boy. This is Brittle Hollow. Last one lead for the ash. I think I've read this before. Final check. Yeah. Huh. The other locations. Knowledge of your future. Yeah, that. God. Being in here but not knowing why. Good news, uh, ready. It's finished. Giant steep. I installed the mask inside the Ashwin project. They look beautiful. Okay, yeah, and this is the one I just read. Too long ago. If anything goes wrong with the Ashwin project, the statues and their mask will make us aware of the situation and able to fix it. Otherwise, it'd be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. E Wait, did this set it off early? Artificial gravity control. That's gorgeous. Hello. Caution, you are about to access the core while the Ashwin project is active. Oh yeah, there's a projection pool. Somewhere, right? Yeah, there is. And... yeah. Hmm. <sighs> you know what? Hmm. I was about to say what's the worst that could happen, but I mean, like... There's a lot that could happen. <laughs> There's a lot of very terrible things that can happen. But... Let's... Access the core. Okay, it's a... The white and black hole are right there. Also, I love just hearing a banjo play occasionally. <laughs> this is... There's a lot of... Oh, it added an extra line. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. I could remove the core. Know uh, mm. uh, what? There's one thing I will, I will ask about this. What does the Ashwin Project do for you? Oh, it sends me back in time whenever uh, the 22 minutes come up or I die. Or right before I die, technically. It's 
so if I turn it off, I don't go back. But I'm kind of tempted to try because uh, I could continue from that. But I'm kind of disabling it though. It sounds incredibly scary. Because, yeah, this uses the power of the supernova to uh, make me come back. Holy. Yeah, shoot. <laughs> what, you, what you got to say? Drink some water while I'm watching this. Oh, thing died? You will lose. You will lose all the progress you've made on your ship if you disable the project this loop. Okay, oh, uh, I'm glad that the connection is back. Alright, you made on your ship log if you disable the project this loop. Wait until next loop if you choose to do so. Okay. I deeply appreciate that. Because, uh, yeah, no, that. Wait until the next loop if we choose to do so. Yeah. 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 Can I just walk on this? Okay, I'll just walk normally. Huh. That makes sense that it would erase all my project. All the, uh, progress, I mean. Okay, we turn off the gravity. Yeah. Two minutes. I know there's an achievement thing I could try to get. Uh, I don't think I'll get it in time, but I can try. Yeah, I don't think I'll get it in time. Um, I think Timber Hearth is on the exact wrong side of the sun. Part of me is wondering if I can uh, get this thing into the uh, museum. But that doesn't look like it's gonna happen.
Yeah, I mean, yeah, we are done with the Ashwin project for now, or the Ashwins. <gasps> I... I... think... We deserve a marshmallow. Alright. I hope you had fun with the stream, and good night. Caskel? Is that how you pronounce that? Hey, yeah, good night, Caskel. And thanks for stopping by. Disable the Ashwin project. Ah, oh, gosh. So, Camo is unique in the files. Oh, so now that we're done with the heavy stuff, Gabbro is unique in the files. They have unique dialogue for the first, like, three loops. Oh. That makes sense. With the third onward being the same as what you've experienced. Okay. Oh, yeah. Three entries. Gabbro's Island, construction yard, ocean depths. Gabbro said there's a strong current beneath the surface of the ocean that prevents anything from sinking below it. The gnome eye the, on the construction yard saw something sink below the underwater current, which they previously, previously thought was impossible. Then Statue Island, Statue Workshop. Ah oh, yes, um, as opposed to a few characters having loop one dialogue. Typhra saying, you're gonna die in space, ain't ya? <laughs> oh, my ocean depths. My module, module. And yeah, I still have to search that. But... Okay, so wait, 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 wait. The probe... To find... It was created to find the precise location of the eye of the universe. But... Hmm. But according to the Ash Twin files, or the, uh, what they wrote down... Uh... Oh yes, every time it would fire, it would, uh, what would it do? It'd fire, you know, the ash, well technically the order of the loop would be, uh, supernova is caused. Right, they cause a supernova that sends orders to the probe cannon to fire. Uh, with the information, and it, oh yeah, and it sends back the information of its launch into the past, and you know, and that triggers the sun station again. And I guess they can keep going until they know that, like, oh, it actually found its mark. Okay, it's just when you get to weird loops and having to start a loop, things can get wonky. Uh, but Ultra Rock, Timber Hearth. Hmm. 
dark bramble seed. Fuck that place. No, my mind's... Yeah. I guess it's time to head up Brittle Hollow. And now I know that the uh, there's a, a path beneath the surface that leads to the observatory. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow Square. That said, there's still the shelter site. Yeah. And I'll... yeah. ship gets destroyed, it gets destroyed. As much as I hate to say that. You want to follow the path from the escape pod? Yeah, I, I was like, no, I... We kind of found some really amazing stuff. And I could, go, like go for the, like, observatory. same time. Note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than what, uh, than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Thank you, little scout. Hello. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here's everything we uh, we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. 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 
Suppose the signal was looking for something. <laughs> Vilex, the signal is older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. Plume, no, no, my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? <sighs> Thatch, imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Good now. As long as the eyes on the surface keeps updating. That's good. I keep forgetting I have a flashlight now. Thatch, is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt... <clears throat> Aunt Malore. Yeah, I can see why you said this place would take a while to stream. You have a lot of writing, but, you know, getting to work on it... ...isn't a bad idea. Or getting started on it, I should say. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting. I would give everything not to know it. Anything but never knowing you at all, which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek. Wherever you are. Scout is, and then uh. let's see here. Can I go down from here? Doesn't look like it. Well, I mean, I can just get. I can try to get there. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash into that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No. There. No. Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core navigation systems were both well. We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't the problem with the vessel. But with our destination, I'm afraid th for our friends in Escape Pod 3. And that was their main vessel. Signal from the eye of the universe. The Dark Bramble captured, er, ensnared, er, it's, it's all sorts of fucked up and wrong, I hate it. Uh, but yeah. The vessel was ensnared. And then only two got out. Don't walk off the end. 
much. Okay, I was here before, wasn't I? Yep, escaped the ramp. The third was stuck. And the Merle. Also, sure. Yeah, the third one. And now I see what you mean by your idea of an AU of. Maybe there were some that. There are some Nomai that survived. Or potentially. And yeah, I was here. And I have very little. Yes. They got captured inside the bramble, but it shows the bramble. Like, capturing it. Which is, uh, distressing. And also, I'm about to- oh, hey! Tree. Thanks, trees. Um, nice timing with Tree Chan. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> sure, it's about to eat. Yeah, it is. I mean, theoretically. If I can, you know, get back to, uh,. Yeah, this one. Um, great. I don't know. It's hard. Okay, it's in some... This is where... Oh, okay. My house is here. 91. Oh, okay, my concerns about our settlement stability. Where should we construct a new, less temporary settlement? I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Match. We will need to stay close to the skate pod, so Felix, mm. so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to, to respond. I don't believe anyone's coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because of the eye signal called, called to us, and we followed. If we are to find it, we need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume and elegantly made. If moving through the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. What if we use the gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Hmm. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from the volcanic, volcanic moon's eruptions. sure on the range of these crystals at times, to be honest. Though... Love watching that. Um. Okay. Let's be careful doing the baby way using my oxygen, not my oxygen, my fuel, to just make sure that I stay put because, uh, Looks like the passwords. 
Or maybe there was a path here. But, uh, things got pear shaped. This is. Mm, there was a path there, it's gone now. Uh, timing. Or. What? Ow. I uh, got annihilated, but I mean. It, I took some damage. But it's gone now, so I hope <laughs> to reference. Nice. Also, I think. <laughs> okay, I wasn't trying to aim for the uh, the the path to the observatory, but uh, in the southern one at least. But I think. Yeah, no, I'm... Wait, no, I'm towards the north, aren't I? I keep forgetting which ways which sometimes. 99. Bon <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Red is north, blue is south. God. Fucking... Yeah, no, there's literally nothing I could have done to prevent that. <sighs> Should have warned you about the stairs, babe. <sighs> you should have warned me. <laughs> it kept happening. <laughs> it kept happening. Now it technically hasn't happened. Look, I'm not quite sure how the uh, metaphysics of time travel exists in this universe, but uh, you know what? Let's say it, it kept happening. But yeah. Yeah. Should you nap now? Can I nap? Oh yeah, I forgot that you can doze off. So weird. No, I think we're going to. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm about to end the stream. Yeah. I think before I do, I'm just gonna check my ship log. See what all we got. The vessel. Oh boy. Let's check this out. Old settlement. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crash escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned the settlement, overgrown concerns about its stability. Granted, very very fair. Yep. Meryl of a Nomai vessel encountering a signal. No Meryl of the dark bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. The Meryl of three escape pods evacuating the, the Nomai vessel. Escape pod one. The crash in their solar system. Escape pod three. One of the three escape pods never made it out of the uh, Dark Bramble. The Vessel. The Nomai warped to the solar system in a, a spaceship called The Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel, the vessel crashed in the Dark Bramble. That means it's technically still in there. I think I've seen it. From what little investigation I did, I think I have seen it. An old settlement. Well, I mean, there's probably still some things for me to read there, but... Yeah. 
our quantum knowledge someday, but yeah. This will be it for the stream. Uh, thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching. And gosh, yeah, I excited for next week. But I'm just I'm still bewildered by the uh, Ash Twin project and finally getting inside the core. That was amazing. But yeah, um. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed. Let me just uh, stop the stream. Is there a way for me to stop the stream from the Twitch manager? No, probably not. But yeah, thanks for watching. <sighs>